the witness and its fleet descended upon the traveler. Osiris uncovered a long lost secret on Neptune, the city of Neomuna. There, refugees of the first collapse had survived under the protection of augmented defenders known as Cloud Striders. Something else was hidden away in Neo Muna, the Veil, a powerful artifact at the heart of the Witness's ambitions. Callus, sworn disciple of the Witness, was charged with securing the Veil. In addition to his loyal Shadow Legionaries, Callus was given a horde of Taken, beings enslaved to the will of the Witness, and the fearsome Tormentors. We had allies of our own, Callus's daughter, the Empress Keitel, as well as the Cloud Striders Rohan and Nimbus. On Neptune, we discovered Strand, a darkness power granting command over the psychic connections underlying our reality. We set out to put a stop to Callus's plans, but we would soon discover that there were still gaps in our understanding of light and dark. The plan was to put a stop to Callus's plans at the source by infiltrating his ship. Callus's forces were in possession of the radial mast, a device that could create a link between the Veil and the Traveler. Time was short, and there was still much we did not understand. There's something strange here, too. A powerful concentration of light energy? There's something's not right here. Wait. A source of paracausal energy. It could be the radial mast. The Shadow Legion have the corridor locked down tight. Even if we could fight through, they'd have enough time to secure the radial mast. There must be more than one path to the radial mast. Stand by. I'll send you all the sensor scans we have. You want them to take an indirect route? We can ill afford to waste time. Guardian, do you see that? It's more of that strange darkness energy. What is it doing here? Pyramid Resonance is shielding the Cabal, another weapon from the Witness.
it looks like a dead end. Hang on, I'll reroute us. You're losing valuable time. This is exactly what I was concerned about. Energy source. This is incredible. You can wield it. has an entire room dedicated to a giant gold statue of himself. Talk about gaudy. Uh, some kind of energy lock. Disrupting the circuit should open the door. The Shadow Legion must use this grav lift to move equipment and troops across the ship. It should take us deeper in. I still can't believe my sensors. Could the radial mast really be a light artifact? There's still a great deal we don't know. What is the radial mast capable of? How will it affect the veil? What is the witness planning? All very good questions, but ones that can wait until we've destroyed the radial mast and saved your city. I know what's at stake here, Osiris. Shadow Legion are ready for a siege, all right. Just look at all these ships. Callus is ready to annihilate this city. If those ships reach the cryopod, the casualties would be devastating. Hey, I think we could help with that. Overloading those energy conduits should do the trick.
Are you handling extremely volatile energy? Again? Again? How often does this happen? Too often. <laughs> prevent the witness from reaching its goal. By creating a link between the Veil and the Traveler, it opened a portal, vanishing through it to a place we could not follow. We suffered great losses. Amanda, are you there? But we were not yet defeated. We would keep trying. To do anything else would be a disservice to those who gave everything to save humanity. Through our efforts on Neptune, we came to understand the paracausal forces that drive our universe. The physical world, with its natural laws, is the domain of light. The mind, consciousness, memory, these are the domain of darkness. On Titan, we revealed the Witness's true aim. A final shape for all of existence. Eternal, perfected stillness imposed upon a universe of vibrant change, all in the pursuit of higher meaning. To defy the terrible fate the Witness had in store for our universe, we had one option. We had to find a way through the portal. 